since the last video I've uh, nearly finished the machine. One of the biggest jobs was sorting out the control cables. This is the one for the clutch, which runs on a really long Bowden cable. Right around here to the back of the machine. Where I've had to modify the motorbike um, clutch lever considerably to get the travel. I've taken away the normal part of the casting here and attached the sheath of the cable back here a long way away. And that gives me at least 40 millimetres travel on the cable now. I even had to bend the handle. When it's held in like this, which is the position to drive the machine forwards, it doesn't require a great deal of force because the um, fulcrum is starting to line up with where the cable starts. On the other side I've modified the brake lever slightly to increase travel. And that runs forward on its own Bowden cable. To the brake mechanism down here, which is exactly as it was on the ride on lawnmower. If I operate the brake, looks like that, on the clutch. There, yeah, that's uh, engaged disengaged. Now the gear mechanism has worked really well. That was in the last video. Starts here. And I've now finished the gear lever. This is currently in neutral. First, second, third, fourth, fifth. Comes back and hits the neutral stop. To go into reverse, and press that button in, and that's our safety feature. I modified the kill switch on the engine. Rather than have another cable coming out, I put in an R pin. So that will be with the ignition killed to run the engine. I'll just push the pin in there. That gives me the option of attaching a lanyard to this uh, to maybe have a safety device that I can reach from the handlebars. The throttle, I used the mechanism exactly as it was. I just had to modify this square tube because it was originally designed to bolt onto round handlebars. So I welded in a piece of tube underneath. To keep the weight down as much as possible, I've used um, fairly light timber for these slats. I'm going to put a plywood bed on to keep the weight down as well. Um, I've put wax oil into these tubes to stop them rusting from the inside and I found these plastic plugs which make a neat job of finishing off a square tube. Just right. all handles seem to work fine. And they tighten up with a single bolt. seemed really heavy on the bench. I'm pleased with how well it's balanced. The weight there is just nice. And it's easy enough to push around and very manoeuvrable. I'll fit the bed on now and then uh, start the engine. You can see it working.